Hey, Rival Life with Harness, and today we're going to be taking a look at making your very first change at the Harness Developer Hub. If you're unfamiliar with the HEH, the HEH, aka the Harness Developer Hub, is a central source for tutorials, documentation, and certifications at Harness. Now, the HEH is an open source project, and you can actually contribute any one of these particular facets here. And so the first thing you want to do is actually fire up GitHub. This is where the project is hosted. So scroll all the way to the bottom, click on Developer Hub GitHub, and you're now brought to the GitHub page for Harness Developer Hub. We use a pull request based process for any sort of changes, but there's a few ways to actually do this. So if you're making a very small change, let's take a look at that first. We'll do everything via the GitHub UI. And then if we're going to make a bigger change, we can actually do that via your local machine. You can actually fire this up yourself, run a local copy, make any sort of changes, and then propose it as a PR. So let's go ahead and get started with a very simple one. All of these instructions are found in the contributors guide in contributing MD. But let's say you want to make a very simple change. Now, all, most of the files that are forward facing are markdown files. Uh, if you want to go ahead and make a quick change to a markdown file, for example, if you want to make a change to contributing on MD, go ahead and click on this edit button here. And you can actually see where we want to make an edit. So let's go ahead and make one at the top here. Our change. Uh, we can go ahead and click preview. And then we can take a look and make sure that our change is there. I scroll all the way at the bottom. And you want to make it actually a new branch. Now, unfortunately, you don't have the rights that I have on this repository, so we have to make a new branch. Basically, this branch will be used to compare to main branch and make a pull request. Go ahead and click Propose Changes, and a PR will be created for you. There's a few details that we need you to fill out. Um, we actually keep tabs on all the open PRs, so we'll actually route this to the appropriate approver. And once you're happy with your changes, for example, you can look at the files change. Here, I made a one-line change or two-line change. Uh, you go ahead and click Create Pull Request, and the process will start for you. Now, let's actually make some bigger changes, which will actually require us to run this locally on our machine. Now, potentially, you could run this in, in the GitHub UI, but it might be easier to pull this out into a IDE or your favorite editing tool of choice and actually make the changes or multiple changes and submit that into one PR. So let's go ahead and the first thing you want to do is actually fork this particular repo. So I'm going to go ahead and click fork. I'm going to fork this into my particular personal repo here. I'm going to go ahead and create a fork, and a fork will be created for me. So in a few moments, you'll actually have a particular copy of a repository, your own fork in your GitHub account. And now we want to get this particular fork on your local machine. So we can go ahead and clone this on your local machine. There's a few ways to do this. I'm actually a really big fan of the GitHub desktop. So let's do that now. Go ahead and click on code, grab the particular address of your repository, and let's go ahead and fire up GitHub desktop. You can actually go come up here, click add. I want to clone a repository. We can give a particular URL for the repository, which is here. Uh, you actually go ahead and select on your local machine where you want to put that. Go ahead and click clone, and it'll take a few moments and pull down the repository on your local machine. And then once the repository is cloned down, it'll actually give you a couple of choices here. Uh, I, your goal to be if you want to contribute it to the uh, Harness Developer Hub, you want to go ahead and select to, uh, the first option to contribute to parent project, click continue. And now you're all set with the repository. We can kind of check out that the files have been pulled down. And now let's go ahead and start making some changes locally. So the first thing you want to do is actually CD into the Developer Hub folder. Uh, there's two prerequisites here that are listed on the Contributor Guide. You actually need uh, Node.js, NPM, and Yarn. So once you have all the files that are pulled down, you go ahead and just run Yarn. And this will actually go and download all the needed dependencies. Once the Yarn process is out of the way, just go ahead and run Yarn Start. And this will actually build a local version for you. Under the covers, the HEH actually uses Meta's project called Docusaurus. Uh, with that, we can actually come to localhost 3000, and now you have a local version of this running on your local machine. So the next step would be to actually make some particular changes or changes of substance. Let's go ahead and do that right now. The first thing is you actually want to go ahead and make a particular branch, or you can actually commit to main if it's in your fork. But for safety sakes, let's go ahead and make a branch. So the first thing is I want to go ahead and make a branch. So fire back up GitHub desktop client. Let's make a new branch. Let's call this modify tutorial. And now we're in this particular branch here. And now the next step would be to actually open up our IDE uh, to actually start making some changes. Here I can open up something like Visual Studio Code and get started. Here I actually have this already in my recent history. And so when I actually open this up, it actually shows that we're already on this branch, modify tutorial. So let's take a look at some stuff that we can actually modify. Let's say we actually want to make a particular change to run local stack as a background step. Uh, we can take a look at the path particular here and actually make that change locally on our machine. Also, we can come down and click on edit this page, which will bring you to the particular page in GitHub. But then you'd have to kind of map that back. So let's go ahead and make a change to this right now. Run local stack background step. 
it's under tutorials, build and test, and this is the name that we're gonna be making a change of. So we come back to the IDE, and we can actually go to the particular area here, which is tutorials, uh, build code, and then we wanna take a look at the local stack one as a particular .md file. And let's say we wanna make some changes to the formatted code. We can kind of see here, we have some formatted code here. It calls, we have a YAML block, but my pipeline, we call this my pipeline is the best. Go ahead and click save. Uh, DocuSource in the background will actually go and rebuild the particular pages that it needs to be reeled just in time. We come back to the IDE, we can come down and we can take a look at this and say my pipeline is the best. Also keeping track of these changes here is actually your get client. And so we can take a look at, there's been one particular change in this file. We can go ahead and commit that. Saying so made a change, go ahead and commit that to the particular branch, and then we can publish this branch. GitHub client is actually smart enough to know that we want to make a pull request. So we can actually click on create a pull request. Once you click on that, um, the particular uh, PR process actually starts again. So we can take a look at what's been changed. Come back here, we made a particular change. Uh, usually we want to say we, we test this locally. So we go ahead and do that. I hope you want to show this. So we can take a screenshot of this and paste this in the PR. It's an optional screenshot. Go ahead and put one in there. Click preview. And with that, we go ahead and create the pull request. The pull request will be uh, kicked off. There's some background processes that actually go and check a few things. We can take a look at a pull request that's already in flight. So here's the actual pull request that's actually going on currently. There's a few checks that we have that runs the background. We have a spell checker, a linter, and we actually create a preview environment that's ephemeral to this particular build. If there's any feedback, we'll actually go ahead and comment in the PR for you to attend review. But with that, hopefully very soon, your change can be actually implemented in the hearts of Overhub. We really appreciate your contributions. Until next time, cheers, Robbie.